It's Daedalic again. They keep showing up on this channel, don't they? This is Ken Follett. Pillars of the Earth. The Pillars of the Earth, more accurately. Yeah. So this is a book adaptation. Never read the book. Also turned into a television show at some point. I think that was actually close to 10 years ago. Never saw that either. So this is my first exposure to this storyline. And it's in the form of an adventure game from Daedalic, who still makes those nonstop. They're just cranking them out. And I, I guess lately I've been playing most of them that they put out, I think. I don't know. Last one was Silence. So this is going to be book one. Chapters one through seven. So this is going to be an episodic release. We're playing the first chunk now. And then at some point in the coming months, they're supposed to release chapter, uh, book two and book three, which presumably each have their own breakdown of approximately seven chapters. So this will be a thing that comes back periodically. I believe I've done everything here because there was like a pre-launcher customizer thing. All right, let's see what happens. This. Oh, what happens if I click on these? Oh, they have a background for them. The second book's called The Sowing of the Wind. Or Sowing the Wind. Chapters 8 through 14. Eye of the Storm. Chapters 15 through 21. So yeah, seven chapters per book. But this is From the Ashes. Let's get started. And hello there, Shadow Tactics. I forgot you were a Daedalic game or Daedalic game or pronunciation game. Welcome to the cathedral, apparently. So we walk around by clicking, because it's a point and click. With a nice art style so far. You move your cursor around the room. Once, yeah, you can click once the symbol. With a right click. Masterfully crafted. May have been an unnecessary tutorial to choose to, choose to do, admittedly. Sally knows what she's doing. Strange when the children surpass you. So, middle click or space bar is like a hint button. Like, here's things you can click on. Move your cursor around the room. Left click to interact. Okay, so inspect is right click. Left click is pick up. Or otherwise use. Tools. Are mine now. Guess I'm going to work. Your inventory is displayed in the bottom of the screen, so you just can click on them to equip them. And now we need to pick something to use them on, so this, the gargoyle. Oh, we have quick time events, apparently. Let's see, I wonder if it bounces back and forth, or if it, uh, I only have one chance to hit it in the, in the right spot. We can actually choose which to do. I can wave to get your daughter's attention, or cough to get your daughter's attention. Coughing has always seems rude to me. Uh, I get annoyed when, whenever I like clear my throat, I get annoyed by the fact that people think I'm trying to get their attention. I'm like, no, I'm just actually doing the actual thing and not being weirdly passive about it. Mass Effect has truly... Oh. Say we'll return later. If you want to stay silent, wait for the timer to run out. Let's stay silent then. Why not? I just waved at her and walked away. Okay. I feel a little like a crazy person now. It's amusing how Mass Effect has just infected every game with a dialogue wheel now. It's like, oh right, that is better than a list for some purposes at least. I can double-click to just teleport out. Yep. Instead of walking all the way to the exit.
Oh, this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. Oh, I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? Maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. We're starting things off in a bad way. Traveling on foot through forests in the snow with a pregnant woman. That's... that's rough. We have flint. The flint is dwindling, but the steel still shines. Oh, come freezing. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters, something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time, or would you keep on looking? We really should stay. We're about to have a baby. I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. I need to find some proper water. Take? How am I taking a quest objective? <laughs> it's not a physical object. A clue! You just collected a clue, which is that you need to get, wa to get water. <laughs> Clues work like items. Use them on characters to talk about them. Maybe and use them on objects to ponder oh, how... I'm the jokey. Don't listen to me. That random dialogue it looks like. Use them on objects to ponder how the, how the clue and the object might be connected. So the clue is a is essentially a physical object, and I can click on it, and then click on people. Did you see a river nearby? No, it's just woods. <sighs> It'll be proper water for my family. Wouldn't stupid snow. I mean, I, maybe they don't know. I have to come down just now. Maybe they don't know, but I feel like it, it would just left. be. Well, we're just here. what I need. Guess there's no use. Complaining. Put this away. Nope, put it away. There we go. Right click gets gets rid of it. Get the metal pot. We're gonna need that for the water. I feel like, uh... I just feel like getting snow would actually be cleaner. Because it's fresh fallen. As opposed to river water, who knows what's in there. And it's right- and the snow's right here. But who I'm knows. Fine. Can you see the sun yet? No. But Martha... Don't distract me. I'm working. Oh, he's looking through the hole at people. It's Tom's Nomon. Inspect. Documents. Uh, Tom Staff. Tom received hit this mason's tool as a farewell gift in Exeter 1125. He used to lay the groundwork for new buildings. Its shadow can tell time and point out the east, the direction of a church, the direction a church must always face. Exeter was Tom's first time working on a cathedral, and initially it was like any other job. 
His master builder often scolded him for not working up to standard, but soon Tom began to understand the importance of proportion, the symbolism of numbers, and almost magical formulas for solid structures. The staff reminded, reminds him of his dream to one day build a perfect cathedral from the ground up. Decent goal, but right now, gotta make sure that wife with baby doesn't end with, like, stillbornness and forest death and whatnot. Deep in the woods. How deep? Do we have any idea how to get back? Oh, there's a pool here. Frozen. Can I break it? Uh, too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. That feels like we're gonna break the pot. Should I be concerned about that? One of the last things we haven't had to sell yet. Oh, why did the game just minimize? That was weird. Clicked on the pot and the game minimized. Huh. Houses and sheds. This could go poorly. Walls and roofs. I'd be glad. I should be glad. Is that a bad omen? That should do, he says. It's still full of the broken ice. What's your deal? Get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Oh, he actually said it. Plain snow. Dried with crow muck. There must be something better. Well, yeah, that. They deserve better than that. But if we cook it, it'll be fine. Yeah? This... I guess it would take a long time to slowly collect falling snow. But a nice pile somewhere? Wait, are we boiling water? Wait, boiling water plus pregnant woman sets up a different scenario. Uh oh. Just thinking about tropes. And did you think about what I asked you? I will take the job. Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. At its heart, it's always about a roof to keep off the rain. But don't you need walls first? Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> Oh, well, this is a neat idea for a section. Look at this. So, of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. So, what do you suggest? Doors, of course. Right. And not only doors but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. 
The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, Give them hope. Agnes? Mama? The baby is coming. But it's not Jim. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. <laughs> Holy shit, well that's dark. Before they started walking, her water had already broken and she's been walking around all day? Children? Alfred. Get more water. Take snow if you must and make it warm. Right. What can I do? Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. Please tell me one of them's not gonna wander off and get killed by a bear or something. If store if there even are bears around here. Let's tell her a story, I guess. Remember when Martha was born and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel. And you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolf helm, pups. And she took us to our own chamber. Poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. Oh, your hands are cold. I, I could warm them for you. No, stay here, please. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. What can I do to help? Cover me. Will, will she die? She'll die, right? What else can I do? Keep me warm. Can I look around? Yeah. I need to, I need to do stuff around my, my environment here. So metal pot, let's use this. The help, the helplessness feeling is just brutal right now. I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we managed quite well. You lost your work, and then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? We're going through hell. I oh, know, but we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. Expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs. I wouldn't be surprised. I am proud of you. I feel so weak. You'll make it. You're a strong woman. That's why I love you so much. Two of a kind, eh? She's losing too much blood. I'm sorry that I kept quiet all day. I didn't want anyone to worry. 
It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it! It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? <laughs> of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. Is she going to actually live, or is she just like, no, don't worry? I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral. For me. Oh, she's dead. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up. Take it we're not setting up for a happy time. Okay, yeah, that punctuates that sentence. Great. <laughs> Just show a hanged man immediately after the death of a of a, a wife giving birth and <laughs> jeez. Hopefully this bit this uh hopefully this one fares better than some of the other book adaptations we've played. The one that comes to mind to me is The Dwarves, which was almost certainly has really good characters and stuff like that, because it starts off really good, the game does, but then the game falls apart and just, like, clearly could not finish being a proper adaptation, and it was, like, it was kind of a disaster. Oh, great! Church is building. It gives people hope. Now here's one on fire. This is a cool intro. Reminds me of when Telltale Games, starting with Wolf Among Us, started doing really, really, really stylish intros for their games, although they never really topped that one, I don't think. Pillars of the Earth. Oh, because you're a builder. Get it? Because you make stone buildings, cathedrals. That's the Pillars of the Earth. I did it. I figured it out. Different era when your last name is literally your job. John Smith, meaning a smith. Someone who smiths, and stuff like that. This is the From the Ashes prologue. What you did. You want your cathedral to bring hope. You told Agnes you would accept any job offered by the bishop. You struggled to support Agnes during childbirth. You found information about Tom's past. There's, that's the branching here. So they're... In, they're, in, they're... They're... You struggled to support Agnes during childbirth. Was there better options? Can you save her, or is it? Can you just do a better job, but then still she dies? Because if she, if she can live or die that that early in the game, that's a hell of a big branching content path early in an adventure game.
The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. New Year's Day. Stroke the pony or call out Brother Paul. Interesting split we've got there. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Reprimand severely or inform about a mistake. Let's not actively be a problem, perhaps. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. The cloth still smells a bit of the cheese that was wrapped in it. Aww. What, how much food did we have? Was that it? <laughs> I hope now it will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I have come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the priory later. The fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. The devil has come to Kingsbridge? I really like the... the uh, I really like the art style of this game. That's, it's, this could be really cool. Alright, Philip's Bible. You can use Philip's Bible on objects to find out what the Bible tells Philip about them. Or use it on people to discuss matters of faith. That's a pretty cool idea, actually. If you're playing as a character with faith, then you li using a Bible on objects to view the world through the filter of the Bible is actually a really good way of explaining how the character themselves works in this, in this story. That's fitting. No. So I, that, was that my only food? Hopefully there'll be more. Uh, I could I could totally see this ga game being the type the type of game where like that's a consequence. Like the choice to give that guy cheese means I don't have cheese now, and there might be other options for the cheese later that I've lo I've missed out on. And it's a game with consequence in that way because that last that prologue was like, hey, by the way, we're looking at what you did. So I suppose I'll suffer the consequences. All right, the word of God. Tell me about f ponies. Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast. Hey, there was an entry for that one. The Bible didn't tell me anything about this path to the mill, though. Clearly, the Bible doesn't know everything. I say in a joking manner, if that was not clear. But he's just gone, huh? So there's a path to the mill, there's a river. Road into Kingsbridge, path between the trees, and hut. Things open up immediately. All right. Buckle up, everybody.